the law of comparative advantage uh, the reference for this chapter is uh, uh, the reference for this recording is chapter 2 salvator international economics right okay so see basically your international economics has to answer certain questions so for example what is the basis of trade what is the basis of trade right what are the gains from trade how are the gains generated how are gains generated how are these gains divided <clears throat> among nations what is the pattern of trade so what goods you are exporting what are you importing right so all of these are the basic questions <clears throat> which trade theory has to answer so we'll talk about in this chapter basically two important theories one is uh, theory of absolute advantage theory of absolute advantage okay and theory of comparative advantage this was given by adam smith and this theory was given by ricardo and there were other versions of this theory also which uh, which have uh, properly explained it and uh, i mean which have which have actually worked upon or uh, made this theory a little better okay basically these two theories we're going to do theory of absolute advantage and comparative advantage uh, but before than that salvatore has also discussed mercantilism okay so what is the mercantilist view on trade so mercantilist uh, they ask uh, this questions from themselves that how can a nation be rich and powerful they said that if nations will be exporting more than importing then the nation can be rich and powerful okay so let's take up this as a point by point that how can nation be rich and powerful okay that is by exporting more and importing less by exporting more and importing less they said that nations will be uh, more powerful they'll be rich well they said that i mean when other when you are going to export when any particular nation it exports then the other nation has to pay for these exports and these importing nations will be paying for exports will be paying for exports in form of gold and silver <clears throat> 